Alrighty, so I'm starting off first with priming my face just with a regular moisturizer. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And then I'm going in with some lip balm because my lips were extra chapped this day. Uh, now I am starting off with my regular foundation routine. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I'm also using the June & Co. Microfiber Sponge to buff all of this into the skin. Like I said, this is my normal routine, my regular foundation shade, which is pretty light. I am lightening it up with a little bit of bright concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the Ferris shade that they have. And I'm just highlighting my regular highlight areas and going in with that same microfiber sponge to blend all of that into the skin. I'm setting my entire face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is in the shade Fair. I usually use this powder to set my under eyes and brighten the under eyes up a bit. And then I just use a translucent shade for the rest of my face. But I went ahead and set my whole face with this just to brighten it up and make it even lighter. And then I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick in the black shade. And I'm just taking an angled brush. Uh, this is just a regular angled brow brush. And I'm just filling in my brows with this black liquid lipstick. If you do it like this and you use a liquid lipstick and a regular angled brush, you're able to get a pretty precise application. It's similar in, in texture to a pomade, so I didn't have too much problems with this, um, and the shade was pretty perfect for what I was going for. Next, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Collaboration Palette, the initial palette that they launched. And this is the third shade from the left up top, and it's just a re really nice light brown transition shade. And then I'm going in with Bitten, which is a Makeup Geek uh, single eyeshadow, and I am just deepening the the crease and the outer corner and just buffing that out. I really want it to be nice and diffused. The brush I'm using for this is the Morphe M441, and I'll link all of my brushes and products down in the description box below, so definitely check that out if you're interested in recreating this look. Now I'm going to just drag it on the bottom with that same brush, typically just a regular everyday look for me. I don't use this big of a brush for my under eyes, but I'm really wanting the under eyes to look really nice and diffused and... Uh, just red under there. I really want it to look nice and bruised. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline Gel Liner, and I'm just coating my entire lid with that. You can use any gel liner you like. I really like the Maybelline one, though, it, because it just has a really nice uh, staying power. It stays all day. And I'm also carrying that into the inner corner using that same angled brush I used with my brows. I'm going in and setting that with just a regular pigmented black shadow all over the lid and then I'm buffing that all out with that same uh, Morphe M441 brush that I used for the crease. Doing the same thing to the other eye. Again, I really want this to look really bruised and sunken in and just blown out. I'm also using a liquid liner just to define my lash line. You're really not going to see much of a difference, so you don't necessarily have to take that step, but I just added it just to deepen it a little bit. And then I coated my lashes with the Thrive Mascara, and now I'm using just a regular Kohl pencil just to uh, deepen up the waterline uh, on the top and the bottom of my eyes. I dragged that black coal pencil down a little bit and I really smudged it out on the lower lash line and now I'm going in with more of that bitten shade just to again really make my eyes look very sunken in and kind of bruised and just deadly looking. That's the goal to look deadly looking so I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. I'm not sure what brush that is but like I said I will link everything down below. This is the shade and light from Kat Von D, the contour palette. I'm using the lightest shade and just a regular big fluffy fan brush to carve out my cheekbones. I use this initially and then I go in with another brush later on just to get it even more carved and defined. So I just really want my cheeks to look very sunken in. And now I'm using a uh, just an angled brush to carve out and define my nose contour. It looks pretty harsh at first, but I am going to go in and just kind of lighten it up a little bit by going over my contour with a little bit of foundation. I popped on one lash and I let the other one kind of uh, the lash glue get tacky. So I went ahead and started just contouring my under lip area and also just my frown lines above my forehead. Just kind of 
made everything nice and symmetrical. This is just a, kind of like a Makeup Forever Flash palette, but it's a little bit cheaper. I got it from Amazon, and I mixed the red and the blue in the palette, and I just mixed them on the back of my hand and used this tiny little eyeliner brush to draw on these little squiggly lines. Basically, they're kind of like little branches. How your veins would normally look if you need to use a reference photo, I definitely would recommend that. I just kind of freehanded it here and it turned out pretty nice. You definitely need a very small, tiny, tiny brush to achieve this type of look. And I do go over it with a little bit of foundation, whatever's left over on my microfiber sponge, just to make it look a little bit like it's underneath the skin and not like it's necessarily just drawn on top of. I go in with a little bit more of that bitten shade to, again, just deepen up the inner corners and pop on my second lash. Then I'm going to go in with this Bite Beauty Lip Pencil. It's a really nice purpley plum shade. And I'm putting that all over my lips and then I will tap out a little bit just to sheer it out. But it goes really good with the blood we're going to apply to the chin. And I do pop on a wig as well just to tie the whole look together. A wig and also a like nice velvet cape. That's it. That's the finished look.